In rehabilitation, we speak all the time about activities of daily living or ADLs. And if I went up to one of our physicians or one of our uh, nurses or therapists and asked for a list of ADLs, I would typically get bathing, grooming, toileting, dressing, uh, the basic ADLs and those which we follow frequently uh, in um, team conference. But higher level activities of daily living can frequently determine the quality of one's life and their independence. And we don't talk about those that much. And a lot of times patients are discharged from rehabilitation before we have a chance to work on them. So it, it's very important that people be aware of them and that patients continue to get therapy to work on them. So what are higher level ADLs? Uh, money management, ability to count, to keep track of your money, uh, filling a pillbox. Anybody who's ever done that, uh, I do mine every Sunday night, knows that that requires planning and sequencing and attention, as do all of these skills. The simple act of shopping, going to the grocery store, navigating around a grocery store, making a list. Now you've got to do money management and make change. It's a complicated task. Using the telephone and other devices, although um, I'm not sure about the devices become so complicated, the one we have at home that controls everything, I'm not sure that, uh, that I could do that. So we need to test for higher level activities of daily living, and we need to work with patients on that. It's something we do in a rehabilitation facility, uh, and it's an important part of the process.